Hey guys, Mark Howard, author of The Griffin Legends here. Thanks for joining me again. So, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a bonus episode this week here. Um, I, I had a fan reach out to me not long ago uh, who told me that um, he was really inspired by my books and me writing a book and uh, not only did he like my book so much and wanted to recommend it to all of his friends and all that kind of fun stuff here, but it also inspired him to write his own book. And so I got a copy of this in the mail here just a few days ago and I want to take a moment to uh, kind of put a spotlight on this guy here. Uh, G.R. Couture, I'm sorry, I've never said your name out loud before filming this, so I, I apologize if I said it wrong here, but uh, he wrote this book called Echoes of the North, Legend Entwined. Um, I haven't had a chance to really dive into this book yet. Um, I, like I said, got it in the mail just a little bit ago here, but uh, from what, uh, Couture, oh gosh, I'm sorry. It's almost like being a teacher again, right? It's like you just can't say a name right. But anyway, um, I, I'm excited to dive into this book here. And um, I guess what I wanna talk about here is uh, even more than just uh, this great accomplishment here is um, how all of us want to do great things with our lives. I don't think there's too many of us out there who just want to uh, go to some nine to five job, uh, earn a little bit of money, and then die without having done anything other than what your boss thinks would equal fair compensation, right? I think most of us hope to have some sort of legacy, right? Whether that's a family or creating some great work of art or uh, running a marathon, right? Whatever that dream is, uh, most of us have those kinds of dreams and aspirations. And I guess I, I want to talk a little bit about what goes into changing it from a dream to the reality of having something printed in your hands like this, right? And the short answer is it takes hard work over a long period of time, right? So many of us, I think, we have these ambitions, but they remain nothing more than a fantasy, right? Something that we daydream about and say, oh, wouldn't it be nice if, and then that's all the thought we put into it. Now, I think for a lot of those kinds of things that it's okay to, to leave it as just a, uh, an idle dream, right? I mean, we can't all be astronauts or uh, play in the NBA or whatever that happens to be, right? A lot of that stuff, uh, even when you are super talented, some of those things will remain out of reach no matter how hard we try, just luck of the draw kind of stuff. But I can tell you, at least from my own experience of writing a book, that is something you can do. Any of us can do it should you so choose to pursue that dream. And I can tell you for me, with writing my first book, this took five long years of getting at the computer screen every night with just an hour before my own bedtime and plugging away at the keyboard. A lot of my nights doing that, I didn't write more than a couple of paragraphs, maybe a page, maybe two, right? The progress was itty bitty small, incremental. And if we looked at just one night's progress or one hour's progress or even a week's progress, we might say, gosh, will this ever get done? And the answer, thankfully, is yes, because it's more of a game of persistence 
than anything else, right? All great artists, and I don't propose to be the greatest artist out there, by no stretch of the imagination am I such, but all great art and all great artists who produce such things start off as some little nobody who just had a dream but kept plugging away at it until they got really good, until they finished the project. And any of you can do that with whatever it is, right? Certain inborn talent can give some of us a leg up over others, but what gets someone really to the top of their game and not just being a flash in the pan that was good for a little bit but then disappeared is discipline, right? If you work at your dream every day, even if all you have is an hour, 45 minutes, half an hour, whatever time you've got, if you put that time into it, then you will get there eventually. And so, again, big shout out to uh, J.R. Couture, uh, Echoes of the North, Legends Entwined. Uh, I can't wait to start diving into this. So proud of you, congratulations. Thank you for letting me know about this great book you wrote here. And here's to hoping for many more. Thanks everyone, and we will see you next time.